Hey guys! <laughs> Today's video is going to be about a simple favour. We were lucky enough to see an intimate screening of it, which means we got to see it before most people did. Even though it comes out in like two Even days. It comes out literally like this Friday, so it wasn't that, you know. But you know. But anyway, you know. Happened. Hashtag grateful. <laughs> hey, this film is directed by Paul Feig, who has directed such things as Bridesmaids, yep. Spy, mm. Anything with Melissa McCarthy. Anything with Melissa McCarthy in it. He's done it, basically. Oh. And um, it stars Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively. And it's about this mummy... I can't say mummy. I just can't. Mom. Mummy. Mummy vlogger. A mummy vlog. Uh, named Stephanie, who befriends this sort of mysterious, high-toned, chic mum named Emily. And Emily suddenly goes missing. And yeah. there's this whole sort of investigation about, you know, what happened Where'd she to Emily go? And, you know... Her past and all that, and that's all I'm really going to tell you, I suppose. Yeah. Um, this film was very much advertised as it was advertised like really like it's a serious yeah like a serious thriller like like they, Gone Girl searching vibes yeah they were really like emphasising that this was like a comedy director taken on like a thriller yeah mm. Mm. well it was not <laughs> I feel like saying it is a bit spoilery but like. If you're gonna go into this film thinking it's all serious all the time, you're not gonna get it. Yeah, no. It's, for my taste, for how it was advertised, it was far too, like, comical. I thought that too. And, like, like the tone was really It got to parts of it towards, like, the climax of the film, and I was like, I feel like they're just ruining this. Yeah. By making it comical. It turned a bit cheesy. Yeah, it really did. And there were parts where I was like, I, I just expect everything to happen everything that happened towards the end i was like i just knew that was gonna happen all, all of, of the plot twists and everything knew it was gonna happen seen it all in Nothing. Three Little Lives. literally i was like really <laughs> really <laughs> none of it surprised me not to say that that wasn't a good film yeah like it wasn't a bad film i still enjoyed it because mm -hmm. it was like actually funny in parts and stuff like that mm -hmm. but like i do wish that it had been serious yeah, it would have been nice to have actually seen a comedy director do something serious. Yeah, because he really easily could have. Yeah, he so could have, because the parts of the, the, this film that were serious were done really well. They were. And obviously you've got Blake Lively, who I think does serious really she well. Was in, she was incredible. She was probably one of the best parts of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, going into it, I was, like, literally saying the only reason I'm going to see this is because of Blake Lively, because I love yeah. her so much. I mean, Anna Kendrick's great, too. Yeah, but. and she's done serious before as well. Yeah. But... I think she's got that sort of, she's been typecast now yeah, as, as a very kind of awkward, funny person. And like, you have the contrast in characters of Emily being a very like serious and adult mum and, and then Anna Kendrick person, is yeah. definitely being like this like mummy vlogger who, mm -hmm. you know, is funny and awkward. And it was just a bit much for me, I think. Yeah. Like I saw kind of what they were trying to do with their character. Like everyone has like a dark side and everything. Yeah. It was maybe a bit too much contrast for me. Yeah. Especially considering I thought this was going to be a dead on serious film. I did, literally, when the first scene came up, I thought, oh my god, are they literally copying searching for a second? Yeah. Because of like the whole. It was, it was a very big searching feel. Screen thing. And I was like, really? wow, really? And then it like went into normal, and I was like, okay. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah, I was like just mildly disappointed. Not completely disappointed. So was I. But just mildly disappointed. Quite sad, to be honest, because I was really looking forward to seeing this film because it was going to be like this whole thriller by a comedy and I director. Love that and, kind of thing, you, know? you know, like. The guy behind us, and it freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it can be done really <laughs> well. <wet. laughs> it's advertised in a way where it's I just I don't, I don't really understand why they had to make it comical. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know he is a comedy director. But I don't understand why he necessarily had to make this. Unless he's trying to make a new kind of style. Like a new genre. I guess. But I don't know if it necessarily worked. No, I don't think it does either. Especially considering they so heavily focused on that this was like the darker side of him and as a director. And all of the things within like the mystery side of it, they were just so overdone before. Mm. Like literally all of the parts that led up to being the big mystery and plot twist. Because I guessed them, I was like, these have all happened in really recent things. Yeah. You know, like searching and like Pretty Little Lies and stuff. I know that's a really like a Gone Girl vibe. It's a really sort of crappy thing. reference, but you get what I mean. A lot yeah. of people watch that TV show. So mm -hmm. I'm like, nothing was surprising. I was just like, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. knew that was going to happen, knew that was going to happen. Like, it's really hard to do like a good sort of like shocking plot twist nowadays. Yeah. Because like, you've got stuff like searching and gone girl and everything like i watched this tv show recently called sharp objects that shook me to hell mm. um, and that did it really well but this not so much yeah um like lively as i said great 
She is a stunning human being and I love her. I just feel like it could have been so much better. I know. Uh. Like if there had been like the genuine, like when she was playing like her best psychotic characterness, I was like, I want more of this. Yes. Because you're not used to seeing her in that kind of like slightly unhinged character i guess mm -hmm. you see her being like being her serena vanderwoods and or whatever see her in all of her other like kind of teeny roles i guess like sisterhood of the traveling pants and that mm -hmm. da, 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 da. but you've never seen her in this like slightly i'm um, kind of freaked out by what you're gonna do she does it so well and i'm like she, oh, she just she needs to do more of that i wish it had been so much more serious mm -hmm. because i feel like it would have been mm -hmm. so good we talk about Henry for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, I love Henry Golding. Henry Golding, yeah, I think yeah. he was also in Crazy Rich Asians. He was great in that, and in this, I feel like he was kind of average. He's the average husband. But <laughs> considering this is probably only like his second acting role, he's doing a great ever, job. <laughs> I feel like he's doing a great job, and you could like yeah. feel the chemistry. I don't necessarily you could feel the chemistry between him and like Anna Kendrick. I yeah, that was very very forced. Mm -hmm. But him and Blake, Blake Lively, Lively, I was like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. But who wouldn't have chemistry with that woman? I mean, literally, I don't think there's a person on the planet who'd be like, eh. she's not like, that Blake attractive. Lively. I'm like, it's freaking Blake Lively. It's she is a Blake goddess. Lively think of anything else necessarily that stands out for me other than it was a little bit disappointing felt like it was a bit long it did feel a bit long and there were some moments where i felt like didn't need to be there yeah like some of the backstory of like anna kendrick's character i thought didn't really need to be there mm. at all i know like they were whole, trying to do the whole like you know dark side yeah, of the character dark side, thing da, 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 da. but like <laughs> i feel like that went too far and it was just like well why why did we need to hear that because they didn't ever use any of it mm, they didn't really anyway yeah, it didn't come true. to anything you know what i mean like it none of it really it was mattered. all on like emily's past and everything yeah. which mm. would have been fine yeah exactly you it know? makes sense it would have been it's fine. the whole mystery yeah it was bit a bit deflated yeah it was a bit like eh. I mean, like, it was it was an okay film. I'm not going to say, like, this was absolute trash. Don't bother mm. seeing it. But, like, just don't expect it to be, like, a, oh, my God, this is going to blow your mind. Yeah, because no. it's not. No. Nah. But it is what it is. It is what it is. If you want one reason to go, Blake Lively. Blake Lively. I feel like that's a good enough reason. Like, it, it was an okay film. Mm -hmm. Just go in with it with more of, like, a, this is going to be funny headset then it will be like a legit serious thing yeah and i feel like you'd enjoy it more yeah going exactly if you know what you're going if you know what you're going to get before you go in i think you'll you won't be as disappointed as we yeah. were yeah but anyway that's all i've got to say about that i genuinely can't think of anything else the Me music either. was quite cool yeah I like how they had some cool like french vibes in there they used a song that i remember they used in gossip girl which i thought was quite ironic and funny <laughs> but <laughs> i like their references to um Diabolique. Diabolique. I can't say it. it's a French <laughs> word and it's a French movie that I've seen. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. that little reference there, that little Easter egg. Good yeah, job. got got some nice lots of little references to like thriller films and whatnot. But yeah. that's about yeah. as far as it goes. It was just meh. You know, meh. not like ew, just meh. Meh. Mediocre. Meh. Yeah, and then the last like 10 minutes of the film are like, what the hell is going on? It's literally like in Mamma Mia. <laughs> When Cher well, just, starts singing well, Fernando, give up caring. And they just gave know? up. Yeah. That's how I'm going to explain every situation. They gave up. They? they gave up like, <laughs> like Cher Mama singing Mia Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's how it happened. Much, right. Okay. But yeah, so next week we'll be going to see A Star Is Born. I don't we know will. if we see anything else before then. But Possibly. That will be potentially. We'll see what's coming out. Yeah, we'll see what's but happening. But A Star Is Born. I'm so excited for this. Oh my god. So many tears will be shed. You don't even know. You do not even know. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, we'll see you guys next week at some point. Yes. Subscribe to Island's channel. Subscribe to, my subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye. bye. I don't know what that was. I'm like, keep going. Oh, 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 oh. My channel. Subscribe to. Ah! <laughs> subscribe to. Ah!